Hello, Mask fans. I've got a special treat for you today. Recently, when I was at Frankensons checking out their spooky expo, I ran across a booth that had some retro monster in my pocket trading cards. Now, trading cards were high on my list when I was a kid, and I remember having a few packs of these. These little characters right here, like the Hunchman. I believe this guy's name is Wendigo. Sorry for the blurry footage. I'm not sure what this guy's name was, but he's classic. Look at the little sculpt on that guy. Of course, you can't forget Medusa. Very cool. And whatever this guy is, like a Egyptian god. The initial release of these toys was in 1989 by Matchbox. That first run of cards were sparse and did not have Monster in My Pocket as the title. These right here were produced in 1991 as the first large full set of Monsters in My Pockets. The two original artists were Jan Sheets and Genis Hero. I love them and I love Monsters in My Pockets. Uh, unfortunately, these characters I have here were not originally my characters as a kid. My mom had a bad habit of wanting to get rid of anything that was over a year old, so not much survived. Check these things out. When I was picking out the packs and I got home, I realized there was one pack that was almost double the size of the other packs. You know, for a young kid, picking out comic cards or monster in my pocket cards, when you feel that fat pack, you get excited. All right, let's see if we can crack these things open. Oh, that sound, ripping that package paper open. And of course, you see a checklist. Classic card keeping. I always wondered why they did so many checklists. Almost every single pack had a checklist. At least with this series, the checklist had an image you could put together as a puzzle on the other side. Oh my gosh. I definitely remember this art. Jan Sheets and Jenis Heo did great. Here we got the ghost. The ghost was one of my favorite. Oh my gosh, look at that zombie right there. That is beautiful. I love the image. There used to be a point value on the back of each card. In fact, underneath each character's foot is the point value too. There was eventually a board game and a really cool video game that came out. I don't know if the point values had something to do with the board game. I just like collecting them. Look at that. That skeleton looks amazing. The hunchback. Uh, what was this guy's name? I didn't know his name. Manticore. Oh, that's amazing, Manticore. Now each pack came with a couple cards that were part of a full, you know, image when you put them all together. I got five packs here. Let's see uh, if I can get a part of the image together. One thing I loved about Monsters in My Pocket was they focused on all kinds of creatures from like fantasy, sci-fi, cryptids, and basically any strange phenomena. They included it all. Look at this, fantasy right here, the beast. Chimera. Oh, that thing looks intense. Tail of a snake, head of a goat, body of a lion. I guess a head of a lion, too. One thing you could always tell about these cards is they were not cleanly cut. If you look at the bottom of some of them, the main picture basically rests right on the bottom of the card. This one is very cool, and this card is cut very nicely. There he is, Wendigo. Crunching those abs. The monster. Wow, what a great representation of Frankenstein's monster. That is so cool. All right, let's see what these guys do. Okay, I'll put that in the pile. At the end, we'll try and put them all together. See what ones come out in the main picture. I didn't realize I was gonna get such close footage in my hand. Nice detailed, hairy hand. Oh, wow. 
Check out that mummy. Not sh Charon. It's like a little troll guy. There we go. We got some duplicates now. The beast. Ooh, another chimera. Hobgoblin. Red Cap. I, I definitely remember having his character when I was younger. Rock. 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 No, rock. Dang, look at that Medusa. She's got the bosoms on that character. Flip this around here. And we have a witch. Each picture had the signature of the two artists. That invisible man looks great as well. Okay, another two to complete the whole picture. I feel like I've got to get the whole picture. I'm getting two cards at once. Probably not though. I think there's something like 24 cards in the whole picture. Classic monster character right there, the Phantom. Mad Scientist and the Phantom kind of got the same sculpt. I have a feeling they made uh, the little toys and characters first and then had these people do drawings off of that because they're pretty accurate to the toys. Oh wow, check out that Cyclops. That looks great. Oh, how do you pronounce that? Cocktrice? Cocktrice? Cockatrice. There you like a cockatoo. Cockatrice. Jaunt Troll. Oh, I used to have those characters as well. And a couple more for the big puzzle. You know, I have stumbled across a couple large posters, basically, of these cards. There's four of them that I found. I think it's the Wolfman, the Jaunt Troll, another like six-headed six creature. I don't know. Someone's got them for sale up in eBay. They're from Italy. I'm thinking about buying them. I think it might cost me $200 to get them over, though. So we're going to hold off on that for right now. Oh, strange. No checklist card on the back. Ooh, Winged Panther. They got really original with that name. Still, amazing artwork. Look at this stuff. Getting lots of duplicates now. I think I might have to go back and get a few more of these packs. They also had some Fangoria cards and other horror-based cards. If you guys enjoy seeing videos like this where I open up card sets and we look through them, let me know. I'll easily go back and get a bunch of those packs and we can check it all out. Uh, another hunchback here. This is when the duplicates keep coming. Oh, I don't have this guy. Cerberus. Cerberus. And the mad scientist again. Trading cards are definitely a close second to masks of things I love to collect. All right, look at this stack, nice. That feels great. Honestly, just like I'm 10 or 11 years old again. Got a big fat stack of cards. Didn't take me but 20 minutes to go run and put them in my sleeves and the binders. It was great. Okay, let, let's try and put this whole image together. I've gotta have the majority of the puzzle. I mean, I didn't get any duplicates on the uh, puzzle pieces. Let's lay him out. And you know, this overall image of the characters is kind of cool. Like almost like a uh, watercolor painting of all these Monsters in My Pockets characters, but not as cool as compared to the other cards that are in the set. 
Okay, maybe this goes in the corner. I'm kind of paying attention to the borders. Some of these cards have black borders. So that's where I'm getting where I think they go. And I don't know though. That doesn't really match up right there. I don't think that it matches up in that second row with each other either. Let's see what's at the top. No. The top doesn't even match up to the second row. Yeah, I don't know how many cards were in this set. But I guess that's why they want us to keep collecting, right? No, that doesn't match there, dude. Well, dang. Honestly, I'm hooked. I'm going to have to go back and get some more. Please subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you like videos like this. I know it's not masks, but this kind of stuff tickles my nostalgia, and I felt like I wanted to share it with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And again, always remember to follow your passion.